we are at the Fred Bowden, is it the studio? Gallery. Gallery. So, okay, Gallery Studio. And Donald, what's the address here? 82 Main Street. 82 Main Street. There's a website? BowdenHistoricPhoto.com. Dot com. Okay, we got all the, the formalities out of the way. And we're <laughs> to, and this is a beautiful place. If anybody hasn't been here, there's uh, unbelievable treasures, uh, historic photos. Obviously, that's the name, but uh, I mean, this is the place to go to. If there's a place in Gloucester uh, or on the North Shore that you want a, 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 a old photo of, chances are Fred can find it for you or has it here. And uh, he, right now, today's piece, we're going to talk about these maps, these old maps that he has, uh, reproductions. Uh, and uh, Fred, why don't you take it away and tell me what we're looking at. You're looking at an 1872 map of Beverly. Mm -hmm. And uh, 1872, um, and it has all the streets and stuff like that. And we have quite a few of these over here. Here's one of. Uh, so what is Magnolia? Of Magnolia. 1884. A lot of them are from 1884, I think, right? Right. Let's see if I can hold my camera still enough for people to recognize some of those spots. And over here. The next one is Anasquam. Oh, okay. This is good for me because uh, for East Gloucester guy, I can differentiate between Bayview and Anasquam because <laughs> to me it's all one spot, but it spells it out right here for you. But this is 18, what, what again? 1884. And it has all the maps and the names of the pl uh, people that own the plots and stuff? That's correct. Own the property. The property. But yeah. if I don't have your house, I have the land that your house is on now. There you go. Lanesville. Lanesville. That's Rockport, Loblolly Cove, Whale Cove, and Gap Cove, 1884. Unbelievable. Yeah. Come on down here, there's a few more. Oh. This uh, is Rocky Neck and East Gloucester. God's country, as I call it right here. East Cliff Cove. East Gloucester, yep. Rocky Neck, let's see. Is the railways back then? And what year was this? The, so the railways existed back then? Oh, yeah, that's 1884. 1884, the railways was there, and here is the... Paint factory. Paint factory, Tyron Watson. Copper uh, manufactory. Yeah. A lot of uh, stuff here. This is Eastern Point and part of East Gloucester. And you said, what was it What was it called originally? Oceana or East something? Gloucester was going to be developed as Oceana. Hmm. And all those streets that are laid out in that kind of lazy grid are just, were never built, which is probably good. You said East Gloucester, but you meant, you meant Eastern Point, right? No, well, well, they call that whole area Eastern Point, but now what we call the back shore where all the motels are. Okay. That was considered Eastern Point, too. Oh, really? Okay, I grew up on Eastern Point. I'm going to tell everybody I grew up on Eastern Point because I was on Harriet Road. <laughs> Here's Brace. Well, you did. Yep. My best friend growing up right there. Derek, here's a shout out to you. Eileen Terrace. Wow, this is amazing. Hmm. Okay. Over here is Gloucester Harbor Village, 1852. So that shows the town of Gloucester, or the village of Gloucester. It shows one structure on Rocky Neck. Harbor Cove right there. Look how many different pier, finger piers that came out into that Harbor Cove back then. Uh, it's kind of more flattened out than that. Rocky Neck. Coming up around. Let's see. This is where our dock is over here. Hmm. Sayward and Company's Wharf. I guess that's where they got Sayward Street. Right. East Sayward, yeah. Right there. Wow. How much do these maps go for? When they're this size, 18 by 20 or 16 by 20 frame, they're 190. 190 framed. That's bargain. All right, my friend. Thank you so much. Oh, well, let's talk. Let's go over here quickly, and we'll talk about these. Uh, these tugboat uh, pieces that you have right here. These are authentic 
Uh, salvage from a tugboat? Yes, um, I bought these from a tugboat captain who's found them over the years. This is a mast light from the tug from a naval yard, YFM-45. Hmm. That's only that's only seventy dollars, and that's a that that would make a beautiful. Uh, oh wait, there's a there's there, a, the light doesn't there work. There is a does light. It? No, that's the original light, but you could easily have it electrified and run it in your house. That would be the coolest piece of, and I bet you it wouldn't cost a whole lot of money to get that. And it's made to be outdoors. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. And then over here, there's a lamp that actually was. Uh, this was a deck light on a tug tugboat. That is and it's operating a, it's as a, a three-way if you want to show people how it works off uh -huh. night light reading light both lights oh cool there you go all right Donna here we are at uh, at Bowden historical oh wait what do we have here tiny oh there's uh ship's clock ship's and clocks yep ship's barometer they both work they both work and these are authentic off of a, a T made in Switzerland clocks, and uh, these are both off of a tug too. Awesome. Bowden Historic Photo and Marine Salvage. And Marine Salvage <laughs> here at what's the address? One more time. Eighty-two Main Street. Eighty-two Main Street. Thanks, Fred.